it's your girl Milan Kyla Joe, and you already know. <laughs> um, I am in Los Angeles. If you guys didn't know, if you guys already know by my Instagram. If you're not following me on, on my Instagram, then what are you doing? Um, I follow some of you guys back to my real chill supporters. So if you guys would like to follow me, I will follow you back. If you're a real supporter, you know what I'm saying. And um, anyway, so right now I'm about to get ready to go to a another tour. Last time you guys was with me, and we went to um, we went to we went to um, Universal Studios tour, and you guys seemed to like that tour. So this time I will be bring my camera. And we will go to Paramount Studio Tour this time. And, um, yeah. Right now, I'm going to get ready and do my makeup, all that kind of stuff. And if you guys would like to see a tutorial on that kind of sort, let me know. Comment down below. But, I mean, that's it. there is a um, everyday makeup tutorial on my channel so if you guys want to see what I do with my makeup in 2018. Okay, we are on 65 acres of land. We weren't always this large though. Um, so in the 1990s we were purchased by Viacom. They're a telecommunications company. When they purchased us they also purchased 15 acres down here. And then in 1967 we purchased this space over here. So that used to be RKO Studios owned by Howard Hughes. If anybody's seen The Aviator with Leonardo DiCaprio, my husband. Then in 1957, it became Desilu Studios, owned by Luce Sobal Desiernez, and then we purchased it in 1967. So there used to be a wall that divided the two studios here. We knocked it down. Now we're 65 acres in total. So up here it says we have 32 sound stages. However, we actually only have 29 sound stages. So we're missing three. Up here we're missing sound stage 13. It's an unlucky number. A lot of superstition around 13. Number 10 is our Technicolor post-production facility. And then over here we're missing sound stage 22 for no particular reason. So when we had purchased that from Desilu Studios, we renumbered everything. Somebody forgot to drink their coffee that day. We just labeled it 21 to 20. They're the ones that just rent space from us because a show like Hawaii 5 or Magna P.I. will actually film in Hawaii. And then this is where they do their post-production, making it nice to, um, and to look good on, to put on TV. Are there any shows you guys watch in particular or, or have heard of? Mm -hmm. This is us. This I like is us. I like Grace and Frankie. Grace and Frankie? Yeah. Has anybody ever seen Barry? Yes, I love have, Barry. Okay. <laughs> so they're almost done with their second season, oh, but... Yeah. Um, yeah. Bill Hader and I, who made awkward eye contact and smiled. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, but so what's interesting with this board, none of these shows are made by Paramount. They're all made by other companies. And none of them are movies. Um, so for the most part, movies are made either out of state or out of country nowadays. Um, it's cheaper. So like Atlanta, Georgia, that's the new up-and-coming Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So like uh, all of the Marvel movies now are done down there. Um, on one of our newest movies, Instant Family, that was all done in Georgia as well. Um, the newest Star Trek movie, that was all done in Canada. So Canada is also up and coming. Um, but so...
actually made at a 90 degree angle. So when you do sit in it, your back gets really straight. That was to help Tom Hanks have a lot more straight horses. Mm. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> I think it's And then to the right, we have sound stage four. So this is actually our oldest sound stage here in Hollywood, and it's celebrating 100 years this year. Um, and so notable things inside there, Wayne's World, Star Trek 4 or 5, Star Trek 5, uh, Star Trek Deep Space 9, um, A Place in the Sun, that was that Elizabeth Taylor dress I had shown you guys, um, TV show wise, Nip Tuck also, Zolian Isles, and then now it's a TV show called For the People. Um, sound effects, uh, because if you're filming some fight scene, you don't want to actually break somebody's ribs. It's not very nice. So instead you cut three celery sticks together. Sounds like you're breaking ribs. Um, or a horse. You use coconut shells instead. Because again, with a horse you don't want to get really close to them. They're skittish. They actually filmed the majority of it out in um, Mexico. In like the Baja, California area. So uh, James Cameron, the director, he created his own production company specifically for that. And they built a 17 million gallon tank. So 17 times that uh, the tank tank. Yeah, so this here is our New York back lot. Um, so what's unique with ours, we have nine very distinct districts. To the left here, we have Lower East Side. To our right, we have Brownstones. Did anybody ever watch Everybody Hates Chris? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so that's where he had lived in the show. <laughs> and then just a bit further on the right here as well, where these big white trucks are, that was the school he went to. So there's a running joke in the show, he has to walk really far to school. In reality, it's like 30 feet apart. <laughs> And then up to our left here, we have Brooklyn. And through here, we have our Chicago area. So if you notice, the buildings are shorter in comparison to the rest of New York that we've driven through. It's not necessarily meant to be Chicago, just any small Midwest town. So they'll actually use this as Pittsburgh and This Is Us. On occasion, it's been used as Los Angeles in modern times, Los Angeles in the 20s, New Jersey, lots of different places. Then through here we have our Soho area. Did anyone watch Glee? No. Yes. So the greenish, or sorry, the bluish gray space there, that was Rachel's apartment front oh. when her and uh, Kurt moved to New York. right we have Greenwich Village and then one of these um, fronts, floor fronts was used in This Is Us it's Kevin's ex-wife's place her name was Zoe this is a hotel it can be used as a theater uh, library anything you have to add the signage yourself as the production just watch out for the really nice door
Star Trek and Beyond. Over here, then we have Star Trek and Beyond Yorktown Public Transporter. This looks familiar. I don't know what it's from. Fluffy. We have that. This. Oh my god, <laughs> that literally is scared. Wow. Oh my god, that's scary. Is this the revenge of, not revenge of mommy, but. <laughs> guys i think this is the end of the tour um pretty much we just look at other stuff and oh yeah i didn't see over here but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tour of vloggy oh look at that got all this stuff but some of the stuff we couldn't like take, take pictures and stuff like that because of course people are filming around this time so of course you couldn't take pictures and stuff like that so Uh -huh. Okay, so right now we are walking, leaving from the um, gift shop. Honestly, okay. Universal Studios is way, way better. Okay. Way ten okay. times better. Way better. Period. Period. It's way better. And um. I work just yeah, about a six. Yeah. Yeah. About six. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'm sorry I didn't end it, but uh, make sure you give us a big fat thumbs up. And if you guys really keep me to find out the same, and they bless me, come your way. Peace. No losses, just upgrading. My lessons made blessings. I turned that into money. They got it.